Hey everyone, Luke here with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Knee to Know Show, we're going to talk about the phases of your physical therapy and the phases of your rehab and recovery after having knee replacement surgery. Before I jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications so you can catch all of our latest videos related to knee replacement surgery. So when we break down the phases of your recovery and your rehab after a knee replacement, these are kind of just to give you a general bird's eye view, a general overview of what to expect with the recovery process and the different phases of it. Now these phases aren't anything from a textbook or anything official. They're just kind of things that I kind of thought of and how I kind of would break up the recovery process with my experience working with people after knee replacement surgery. So the first phase I would say, I would call it the, the early or the acute phase. And this is actually, I would divide it into two parts of itself, two sub, sub phases, I guess we can call it. So the first phase is that first 48 hours after surgery is really that acute phase. So you're coming off of the effects of the anesthesia, coming off the effects of going under the pain medicine. You may have had a nerve block that's starting to wear off. And this is just a phase where you're really just trying to manage everything and keep everything under control. So you're going to have that onset of pain and discomfort and swelling. We want to do everything we can to manage that effectively and keep that under control. We want to make sure that we're getting an early start on your rehab. So that means doing some early exercises to start to improve the range of motion of the knee. That also means getting up and walking and moving around. That early mobility is very, very important. And also some exercises in addition to that early mobility, they're going to help reduce your risk of developing a blood clot or any other type of complications after surgery. And then also a part of that early phase is maybe that first week to 10 days where this is kind of a part of transitioning. So transitioning from the hospital, either on an outpatient same day knee replacement, or maybe you did stay in the hospital for a few days, and then transitioning to, for most people, that would be your home, and for some folks, an inpatient rehab facility for a little while as well. And that means getting home safely, getting home with a plan, all the equipment and things that you need, and again, starting to manage symptoms, manage pain, manage swelling, um, reduce risk of blood clot and complications, but also really starting to take baby steps into starting to do a little bit more intensive exercises, range of motion activities, things of that nature. Then I like to think of kind of the second phase. Um, you can kind of call this the subacute phase, I guess, um, but kind of the second phase is that um, kind of up to six to eight weeks out from having your surgery. And this is really the phase that I think about is really where you have to put in that, that consistent work um, with your therapy, with your rehab and recovery. And what I mean by that is a lot of exercises and stretches and activities to work on your range of motion, making sure we're getting that knee extension and that knee flexion back as much as we possibly can to avoid stiffness and avoid any issues in that regard. We were talking about exercises to start to really build back and build up your strength and your, your mobility, your walking, your ability to go up and down stairs, whatever that may be, and really putting in that work and doing really specific focused exercises, focusing on specific impairments, range of motion, strength, flexibility, um, things of that nature. And then probably the third phase, again, these are just kind of rough estimates of the timeline, but maybe eight weeks to 12 weeks, some folks maybe eight to 16 weeks. This is where we start to make that transition away from physical therapy. So starting to focus on setting you up for your discharge from outpatient physical therapy. So a lot of this is focusing on really functional movements, um, weight-bearing, standing type exercises, exercises that incorporate um, multiple um, joints and body um, structures and muscles, and really focusing on function and making sure that you can be discharged from physical therapy, that you have a plan, a plan to be successful, a plan to be safe, and continue your rehab on your own and kind of get that last maybe 10, 15, maybe 20% of your recovery and rehab after being discharged from therapy. 
So that's phase three, kind of that transitioning from really functional, dynamic, physical therapy to now managing this on your own. And so then phase four I'll label as your long-term recovery. So this is maybe we'll call it that first six months after having surgery. So that time period from, um, you know, three months to six months. And this is where, for most folks at this point, you're discharged from physical therapy, you're kind of managing this um, on your own, or maybe you have a gym membership, or you have a personal trainer or a family member or something like that. And it's really getting that last little bit of recovery, that continuing to build up that strength, continuing to uh, manage your pain and any symptoms that you still have, continuing to get back to more of your normal daily activities and the things that you enjoy, and setting yourself up for kind of that long-term management and life with a knee replacement. And so that's kind of that time frame where you're getting that last little bit of recovery to feel that you're fully recovered. Again, for some people, this might be a little bit longer, um, might take up to you know eight months, 10 months, a year, over a year. But usually, if we think about three to six months is kind of that time frame. And then phase five, I just think about being life with a knee replacement. So hopefully for most individuals, life with a knee replacement is just, you know, life. You go about your normal life, your normal activities, doing what you enjoy, um, doing the activities that you enjoy, just, you know, following precautions and being safe and being logical about what you're doing and listening to your body, knowing that you still do have that knee replacement and we have to be safe about what we choose to do and try to maintain good longevity of that knee replacement and keep it healthy and functioning as long as possible, but also, you know, kind of letting yourself do what you want to do, you know, understanding that knee replacement was there to allow you to live your life, and so going back into those activities. And of course, there's things you can do to maintain good health of your knee, good longevity of your knee, you know, focusing on certain activities and modifying things if you need to, if that's for your work or career or your leisure activities. It's about being healthy, so having a regular routine of exercise or physical activity, maintaining a healthy body weight, eating healthy, sleeping healthy, all these things play a good important role in the longevity of just your knee replacement, but also your overall health and well-being. So those are how I would break up kind of the five phases of your knee replacement. So again, real quick, you have phase one, which is kind of that early acute phase and early phase, that first week to 10 days. Phase two is kind of the subacute phase where you're really putting that intensive focus on regaining strength, regaining range of motion. And that's maybe the first six to eight weeks after surgery. Phase three, maybe eight to 16 weeks or three to four months after surgery where you're really focusing on function and transitioning away from physical therapy and transitioning to discharge and um, managing this um, you know, at home with your, by yourself and with your social supports. And then phase four is kind of that long-term recovery, getting that last little bit of strength and function and mobility. And that's anywhere from three to six months, maybe a little bit longer for some folks. And then phase five is just life with a knee replacement and maintaining good habits to maintain that longevity of the knee and of your body and of your health and wellness in general. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, of course, if you have questions, be sure to leave them below in the comments. I do my best to get back to everyone I see. Be sure to leave a like if you found this helpful to help spread the video to other viewers. And again, I appreciate you watching. Thank you.